Welcome to the homework for lesson 12. This is module 6 of second grade. Write your name first. And what we're doing with this one is we've been cutting out squares and the lessons just before the last few lessons we've been cutting out squares and rearranging them. And I've been drawing pictures of them. They've been kind of sloppy pictures really, but they're just sketches just to kind of show you what the arrays can look like. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try to be a lot more careful about it. The idea is that we want our squares to all be the same. And one of the ways that you can do that is to have a single unit that you can copy over and over again. And this is what we have for our unit is this square right here. So get some scissors and cut that square out. Then what you can do is to trace around the outside of it, you can um, you can hold it down with your finger and trace around the outside of it with a pencil so that you can get the same square again and again and again. Another way to do it is to cut out a little bit bigger section. Now this can be a little trickier if you've never done it before, but it works, it's a little bit easier to use, is cut out a bigger section like that and then cut the square out of that section so you have a square hole and then you can it's easier to to trace the inside of a hole than it is around the outside of something when you're holding it down with your finger you can try that instead and see if that works i can't do either one of those because i'm doing this on a computer and i don't have paper and scissors to cut out and use so i'm going to have to cheat and use a computer trick I'm tracing the square and I have a hard time drawing straight lines so my square is not going to be perfect square but I'm supposed to be tracing the same square but my trick is that I'm going to be able to copy this square I just drew again and again so it says here that I need uh, two rows of four So there's one, so I need two rows now because my lines aren't straight I have it look one of them's kind of wavy it looks like I have I'm going to have gaps or overlaps and it's, just, it's not going to be perfect it might not even be pretty but if you have two rows of four you'll have what you're supposed to have and the idea is that we're trying to use we're trying to have the same unit over and over again so we're counting the same thing over and over again and so that's two rows of four and you can just count it that's eight eight squares and then that's four, four, and eight. Trace the square tile to make an array with three columns of five. All right, so I've moved it down a bit. And three columns. So that's, all right, there's my three columns. And I need five in each column. This is going to be I don't know how this is going to fit on the page here, but it's going to definitely go over the words. So I probably should have just started the whole thing way over to the right. Oops. And maybe I still can. All right, that's three columns of five. Okay, so that last square I didn't need. Maybe I can 
Maybe I can do this and move the whole thing over. There, how's that for cheating with a computer? Three columns of five, 15, because it's, and the add-ins have to be fives, because you can either have five threes or three fives, and you can see here we have three add-ins, so they have to be fives. 5, 10, 15. Now this says uh, complete the following arrays without gaps or overlaps. The first tile has been drawn for you. So now we're not uh, we're not tracing around a cutout tile anymore. We're just trying to draw squares that are the same size. So it might not be perfect. It might not be pretty. Just take your time and there's not a whole lot of them that you have to draw. Four rows of five. So if I know I need five, four rows, that's two rows, three rows, four rows, and there's going to be five in each row. So that means I'm going to need five columns. Now drawing one square at a time, just one of the tricks that I use is just try to be careful that the lines stay straight. And when I make this line here, I'm literally looking at the line above it to make sure that it's about the same. And now that's, uh, I need one more column. That's really sloppy across the top, isn't it? Maybe I can fix that just a little bit. I'm trying to get this to look right. Uh, I just can't draw a straight line. All right. And maybe you're like me and you have a hard time drawing straight lines too. All right. So there's four rows of five with no gaps or overlaps. Five columns of two. So we need column of two and now we need five of those and that's one two three four five columns of two okay great and then four columns of three so we need four of these columns there's two columns three columns Let's see if I can do better there there's four columns and now I have to try to get three in each column here Just do your best here and forget the rest. All right, there's four columns of three. Now let's just take one more look here to make sure I drew columns and rows. It's five columns of two. Okay, I got five columns. I have four columns of three. That's four columns. Four rows of five. I have four rows. All right, and I've got these squares here. All right. Yep, and check your name. If you didn't, if you skipped it in the beginning, go back and get it now.